Hey, it's Phil Thatch, and I am once again at The Signal. And tonight, Opposite Box is playing, which is a really great band, local band. And check this out. That's THE Ray O'Donnell right there. THE Ray O'Donnell. And he's also shooting tonight. He's going to be the house photographer, and I'm going to be shooting for a, um, another local photography sort of a thing. Uh, both of us will be doing social media photography. And Ray is shooting with a Nikon D850, and he has the Tamron 70-200 2.8 G2 and the 24-70 2.8 G1. Am I getting this right? Yeah, that's right. Ray confirms. It's confirmed. And I'm using the, the R6 and the, uh, what am I using? The 24-70, the 70-200 2.8s, and the 50 1.8. And I think Ray's going to send me a couple pictures I mean, not 50 or 60, but maybe two or three or however many he wants. And uh, hopefully we'll get to see those two. So let's get in there and, and get set up. All right, let's have a look at some of the photos from the show. Well, look, there is Ray with his D850. And this is the Tamron 70-200 F2.8 G2, I believe, that he is shooting with. Really cool setup, and he does a, a great job with it. Uh, you can you'll be able to see the settings up here. It'll tell uh, what lens I use. This was the RF 70 200, 168 millimeters, 1 200th, f 2.8, and he was in the shadows. You know, not on the stage where the lights were, so the ISO is way on up there, 25,600. All right, now we're looking at the band. This is Ryan Long, who is this singer, and he plays trombone and he plays keyboards and synthesizers all sorts of stuff in this band. And uh, this is still with the 70 to 200. Almost all the shots are with the 70 to 200. And there he is again. I really liked this shirt he was wearing because it was white and I could uh, get my white balance off of that. So that helped. Here is the bass player. This he's uh, He hasn't been in the band too long. And so I don't know his name, but he did a fine job. And this is Ryan, the keyboard player this is his brother Richard and uh, he is a really great guitar player enjoy hearing him play and there he is again with his beautiful guitar with lots of stickers one more of Richard Richard Dick Long is what they call him and he is an accomplished musician for sure this is another Ryan this is Ryan Guza the drummer and he is awesome always enjoy hearing him play they had some pretty good light on him back there this is a 200 millimeter shot 1 640th of a second and i only needed 2500 iso to uh to bag this shot really cool making photographs of him this this shot i really like the way this one came out look how sharp ryan's eye is 1000 iso shot and then i made a couple more this one and this one and this one kind of in that sequence. And I don't like them nearly as much as this one. Let me full screen that one. That's one of my favorites of the night. All right, here's another shot of the bass player at 158 millimeters. Look at that six string bass. And there's another one of the bass player. There's Ryan. He always wears these circus looking pants at their, you know, his shirt's different every time but it seems like he always wears some circus looking pants like that which is kind of cool and you can see he's got a synthesizer a keyboard this is a talk box so he plays the synthesizer and runs it through this talk box which is really cool and there's his trombone ryan guza a black and white shot i, I made a, a number of these i converted a number of these photos to black and white i just thought they really looked cool and i like this one this one i left color this is shooting from over at the side and i like the leading lines of these lights as they trail away in the background this lens this 70 to 200 is just awesome see how these lights are super bright and there is just no flare at all coming off of them i had a problem i used the the rf 50 millimeter 1.8 a little bit later and it had just horrible flare problems i guess that's why it cost 200 dollars instead of 2700 dollars here's another one of mr Mr. Guza wearing 
those skins out. And this is one of my favorite shots of the night too. 111 millimeter shot, uh, 1000 ISO, 1 640th. And uh, this, he is really uh, doing some nice percussion techniques in this shot. Really cool. Thought it looked better black and white and I'm still satisfied with that decision. Here are some of the spectators. This is another 25,600 ISO shot. I have my, when I'm on auto ISO, I don't let it go above 25,600. And uh, you know, this they're going, there's going to be some grain in these shots even after running through Topaz Denoise AI. But uh, I think uh, it kind of gives it a filmic look and I think it's, I think it's okay. I mean, without a bunch of ISO, so you're not going to get these crowd shots because everybody's basically in the dark. There's Ryan again doing his trombone. I like you can see the, the keys on the keyboard reflected here in the bell of his trombone. And there is Richard taking a solo. And look at this. They are just awesome showmen. They do all sorts of crazy stuff. They they crowd surf. I've seen them crowd surf a drum set. They had a really small drum set on a piece of plywood. And I've seen Ryan playing his trombone on the bar. For this show, Ryan got up on the other Ryan's shoulders and they played. I mean, this is during the song. They're they're drumming and playing trombone here. So that was cool. Here is another shot of that. And here's another crowd shot. I made two or three shots of these two. They were getting into it. And that was one of my assignments was not, don't just shoot the band. They, uh, the person who uh, got me into the show asked me to make some, some shots of the crowd enjoying the show. So that's what these are. These are all 25,600 and really grainy, but I still think they're okay. You know, they, they tell the story of these two enjoying the show together. There's another one of the bass player. He's got a hat that says warrior. How you, and that's a, um, that's a guitar company that, that makes guitars near Chattanooga. They're just over the line in, in, Rossville, I think. And I used to have a Warrior guitar, but I sold it. Actually, I sold it back to them. And there is Ray, another 25,600 ISO shot of Ray. This time he's he's using that, uh, that grip. He's got the camera in portrait mode and with the grip on there, he's got another button and a control wheel. So that's, that's really cool. There's Ryan. He's actually using his talk box. The, the, when you do the talk box, you put this hose in your mouth and you kind of sing while you're playing notes on the synthesizer, or you can do it with a guitar as well. And it will make the synthesizer or guitar or whatever also have your voice. So it's pretty cool. This section of pictures, I had to black and white them. The, the lights were just super, super magenta and there was no saving it. And once I converted them to black and white, I really liked them. You can see the sparkle in Ryan's eye here in this shot. And he's kind of working the crowd here. He almost looks like a, like a preacher in this shot, uh, up at the, um, podium there, but he's a rock star is what he is. And here, he, this is another shot in that series that I really like the way they turned out in black and white. Here's a couple just uh, um, having a nice time enjoying the show. I got a number of photographs of them, but I think this might be my favorite one. They just look really pleasant in this shot. A lot of red light in this one. I didn't try to save the white balance at all. I just let it go red. Thought this looked pretty cool. And this is uh, from that same sequence. This last one was at 177 millimeters and I, I pulled it back to 115 for this one and, and I black and whited this one. This is with the 24 to 70 and I, I think I was sitting on the floor and I really like the way this uh, full band shot came out with the exception of the synthesizer is blocking Ryan Goose of the drummer's face. Other than that, I really, really like the way this shot came out. And this is another shot with the 24 to 70. These people were sitting right behind us and I just turned around and made a few shots of them enjoying the show. I thought it came out nice. This shot is with the 50 millimeter F 1.8. This is the only shot with the 51.8 that I shared and it may be my favorite shot of the whole night. This girl was up dancing and I took a number of pictures of her while she was dancing on this one. You can see her face. Usually her, her either her head was turned away or her hair was covering her face. But on this particular shot, you can see her face and she's smiling. So I, I really like the way this shot with the 50 millimeter 1.8 turned out. Here is another crowd shot. I'm back to the 70 to 200. Now these are I'm showing you these photos in the order that I made them and I'm back using the 70 to 200 again now. There's Ryan Guza still banging away on those skins. I like the 
sharpness that I've got going on here. Another Ryan Guza shot. And there is Richard Dick Long wearing out his guitar. I really like the way this one turned out. 200 millimeter shot. Here is a full band shot. I think, I don't know if I went back to the back and held the camera over my head or if this is one of the ones when I went up to the balcony. I'm not really sure, but I like this full band shot because you can see the drummer. And here's another one probably from that same sequence. And another one, I think this was at a different time. Let's see, that one's 70, that one's 70, that one's 75. And now we're uh, doing some more crowd shots, some, some folks enjoying the show. I think uh, these are kind of friends and family members of the band here. And this is another one on, on this shot. I had this young lady in focus. And on the next shot, I had this young lady in focus. So I thought both of those turned out pretty cool. Okay, I want to show you just a couple or three unedited photos of when I was using the RF 50mm 1.8 to kind of show you what I'm talking about with the flare. See how these lights are just flaring like crazy and even these lights. I didn't have that problem at all with the 24 to 70 or the 70 to 200. But that, uh, you know, and I, I think that one was at 1.8. And let's see, this one is, I stopped it all the way down to 2.2 thinking that might help with the flaring. But it's just, I mean, these, these shots are unusable because there's just too much lens flare going on from those lights. So that was kind of disappointing. But like I mentioned, my favorite shot of the night was also made with that lens. So it's a good lens. It's just not good when you're pointing it straight at really bright light sources. All right, let's see if I can edit one for you and show you what I did with these shots. I tried to make them all four by five um, because that works best for uh, Instagram and things of that nature. But the first thing I did on all these, you can see this white balance is a disaster. So I would just uh, pick up the white balance uh, and get white balance off of this white shirt. And that would usually fix it. So next I'm going to crop it four by five, which will work better for um, social media. That looks pretty good. Maybe just a little tighter. There we go. And then, of course, I like my pictures to be bright sometimes, so I'll brighten it up a pretty good bit. And it looks like it's too bright. But then I'll pull some of the, a lot of the whites out and some of the highlights. And now let's bump some contrast a little bit. That's basically all it needs. I don't know. You kind of got to fool around with this to find a happy medium. Yeah, that is pretty good right there. And then, of course, I'll, I always mask. Let me hit the option button. You can see it's just sharpening the areas that are white. And when you hit the option button there. And that is about it. You know, this this photograph I didn't pick to be one of the photos that I published, but it still works good as a demonstration of how I edit these. All right, Ray was kind enough to send over a few photos from the evening, and this is not Ray versus Phil, and this is not Canon versus Nikon. This is just a couple of buddies who got lucky enough to both shoot the same event, and Ray was kind enough to share some pictures with them, so let's take a look at his photos now. All right, here are Ray's photographs. All of these are made with a Nikon D850 and the 70-200 Tamron F2.8 G2. He's got his settings at the bottom of the screen. That was nice of him to put those on there for us. And he made some really nice photographs. I'll put a link to his entire album. He just shared uh, four or five with us. I love this full band shot. Really nice. And a lot of times Ryan Long with his super long hair will get it going in all sorts of directions during a show. And I didn't capture his hair in the air any on this particular evening. Ray got a couple of really good hair in the air shots. So thanks for sharing these pictures with us, Ray. All right, well, we had a great time. Heather and I had a wonderful time at The Signal listening to Opposite Box. We love that band. They're one of our very favorites. You know, we've been uh, going to see Opposite Box shows for years. Heather and I have been together for over five years and we've been seeing Opposite Box for all of those years. And we haven't seen them in a long time because, you know, COVID and all that stuff. 
and uh, Ray had to jet out a little bit early and I think Ray is going to send me a couple of pictures so hopefully he did and if so you've already seen them if not I apologize for talking up Ray's photos because I promise you they are great uh, whether you see them or not if you don't see them I'll, I'll, I'll put a link somewhere to where you can look at them without seeing them in the video but the signal's a great venue and opposite box is a great band you know they they play all over the southeastern United States and they may not be quite as popular here in Chattanooga because we're spoiled because they're kind of from here or North Georgia but I'm always just thrilled to go to an opposite box show because the musicianship is great and the showmanship is great and uh, that's a nice combination so there's the signal right there behind me and we appreciate you watching hope you have a great day and as always we look forward to seeing you in the next one thanks a bunch comment tell me what you think of the photos tell me what you think of Ray's photos hopefully they are included with the D850 my photos with that old Canon 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 R6 and uh, we look forward to seeing you in the next one